Welcome back fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 8 and Third Reich events. I'm really enjoying this playthrough much more than last time, especially for the Soviet Union invasion, because this is this is how I wanted to do it. This is how I wanted to do it. So we're we're continuing on here. They're doing some spoiling attacks. Okay. Oh, a couple of decisions we need to make here. Just want to make sure I hit the right ones. Okay. Earlier version of these events, a few um, versions ago, uh, they would rebuild the actual infrastructure. And you had to control it. And they'd actually sort of tear down the infrastructure to advance. Where these seem to be, and I looked at them a little bit, um, going to cost you until November 42, so good half of the year, 1% of your ICs and some supplies. But what you will gain is um, an effect. It's So once you get, you know, this is the Riga supply network, supplying now that we have Riga. So we're going to fire this, lose some manpower and some metal. Metal's fine, we got more than we need of that. And... The low gas supply network as well. Now, we'll take a little bit to actually kick in I think but you get the yeah see it hasn't actually kicked in yet but we've met the qualifications for it so it'll be very very quickly so it costs us a little more supplies from production but it increases the throughput totally everywhere not just in those um, areas um, by two percent for each one of those so that will help as we continue to push into the Soviet Union. So yeah, here they've just clicked in. So we like that. They're doing more of these spoiling attacks. Attacking big, huge piles of troops with nothing. Hoping to delay our advance. Now, but they're attacking student here, and um, Remke there, which is about ready to collapse, but I'm counter-attacking here. Okay, we got these guys. Let's see. Um, I'm going to keep moving that way. So we're counter-attacking the attackers. Hopefully that'll be enough to break them. Before we break. And I also wanted to have Rowell do some scouting up here. No, not a port strike. I just want you to do air superiority with your bombers, yes. I know you think that's odd, but what it should do is give us a peek in here. Okay, they got... That's too strong for a... <clears throat> uh, an invasion. They come up and... No, 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 I don't know. I've changed my mind. That isn't too strong for an invasion. But I don't know that I want to do that. What I want to do is... Let's send 
Because you're not, you're holding the line from that way, but I don't care about that. So we'll move you over here. Get you over there as quickly as I can to do an airborne invasion up there. Good German unit here. Guess this is it for the German units. Glad we're rushing down into there. units that are sort of suicide strong. Okay, I hope my unit will retreat out of there fast enough. Oh, hold on. Okay, they've pushed me there. Don't want them to create an opening. Yeah, we're going to make it through, but... Changing the direction of movement. Okay, come out into here. We're now going to explode in all directions. Okay, secure installation security has advanced. That's good enough for now, I think. I think those trigger other events or effects or whatever.
Military police, okay. Good enough for now. And basing has advanced. 20% plus efficiency. Well, I'm going to cancel that for now. We'll be back to basing sometime in the future. I guess partially I'm just not sweating it so bad here now that we have that. Do we have both supply routes running just to make sure? No, there. No, we don't, because that just come online probably. Or No, really, more I've just been tied up in Russia. Look at that. So, create supply convoy. Let's go from split to UTT. There we are. So, we've got that going. Hopefully, that will do enough. So as you can see, our supply tendrils. Oh, good. We've got Bombay. Hopefully that will retreat fast enough to not be overrun. Well, you know, let's... Let's strike there. Oh, no, I don't know. Should be able to close that, but we're gonna see what we can do. Now, I was asked again um, by a uh, Hearts of Iron 2 player about why I don't always attack with a full stack. You see, this guy here just attacked there, and now he has a, well, only four hours at this point um, delay in between ta attacks. And we reduce that a lot, primarily by researching these techs, but also these. But this unit here has no delay, so they can immediately follow on and attack without a delay. So they might be getting somewhere quicker and attacking the next time. If I can overwhelm them with half the units available, I'm going to do so. 
Okay, well, these guys are going to go right up into there. These guys are changing direction. So that's some of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, you're going to attack there. Yeah, that's going to cause him to retreat, but we'll keep him up the pressure. He's moving in. They might be able to make that progress, but we're going to take it a little low. A little low. Very quickly, I hope. Since these guys haven't attacked, I'm going to move them right now. close this up before they will escape the idea. No, I can close it up. Okay, sorry if I'm not talking enough. I'm just sort of concentrating on things. Okay. Yeah. Your cavalry division's attacking me. Fine. Carrier craft prototype has advanced. Okay, well that's good. That's here. We're going to stop this because we're only going to have one carrier at least four some time. Not that I'm not going to build new uh, additional ones. It's just only going to happen once we get additional ones once we get the Soviets. Okay, we're going to increase that a little bit. We still have lots of supplies, so I'm not really worried about running out, but I don't want to go oops at some point and realize I've let it go too low. Oh good. We got that. Get in that little pocket there. So look at just for your own edification here, we have two torpedo boats, three motor torpedo boats, taking on a British cruiser. Down here, well, a couple of... On my coastal submarines with their destroyer. And... Another cruiser, probably the ones coming out here.
Are we still doing better than they are? Yeah, they're losing their organization. And here. And to there. All of that. I think that'll do well as well. Okay, back to the main action. I just don't want to let this distract me from the other things, but we can't forget that this is the real battle here right now. This fight for the Soviet Union. Okay, we got to We're dealing with them. Well, they've got a headquarters unit there. Mm. Don't know. Now. Whether I want to invade or paratroop in there. Or both, maybe. Do I have any? I have some of those mount. Okay. I don't think we're going to get this closed off before the torch landings. So what I'm going to do in between this and the next episode, those infantry and Jaeger divisions, we're going to see about garrisoning some of um, our allies' Vichy territory in North Africa a little bit. So that's what we're going to see about doing. Oh, also forgot about this. Okay. Um... We have no fuel here. And they should be air supplying them. They have fuel. Oh, well, maybe they do have fuel and those are just still tagged bad. Okay. Well, either way, let's get them moving. We can. Um. So we're also fighting them there as well.
Well, I think we'll close that off. Just trying to make sure everybody has fuel to keep going forward. As you can see, we're getting close into here. I'll just swap. Okay. They're driving in there. If they can close that, that'll be great. Okay, we can recruit African troops, but we're going to stop that at the moment. Not sure what improving that will do. Does that just give us more and more events? <coughs> no, doesn't seem to. Okay, not sure why we would want to improve it, but... We can if we wish to. I 
More improved armored car designs. Radar for cruisers. No find the red army. Well, not really much, so let's go down here and do medium warship radar, which slightly in the red. Send them back to Colombo to get reorganized there. How is our submarines doing out here? Sinking anything? Yeah, a little bit. Shifting them around some. Not gotten any Soviets here. Dao, Dao Gava. Okay, Dao Gava. Don't know that river name. Really glad for Lexi and his mod. It adds all these great river names. Every one there. Up to here, cool. And Pompeii. Why are they doing so badly? Hmm. Oh, just good unit, I guess. Okay, there. I'm going to the fray. Like a lot of those guys will escape.
And I can support that attack. Good. Well, I think we're going to have to end the episode here. Um, keep wanting to play more. But we're doing fairly well, obviously, if you look at the scale of things. Eh. But we're at June 1. This is approximately 15 days into uh, Operation Barbarossa 1942. That's how it's different than... those guys up there. Um, well, it's different than the historical one because that was in 1941. But we've got here, hopefully we will get there before they do. At least the headquarters, this one. Wietzleben. Wietzleben. Let me just hold them there briefly. That has too much. I don't want them escaping into there. My para unit here is moving right there. Because I want to see about dropping in on there. And then coming in around it that way. So what I need to do, I think, is... I think these guys are doing okay. We're gonna send... Bismarck and crew. And the reader back to here. And I said I was gonna stop this, but I'm keeping playing. Gonna get these guys on board, or, you know... Connected to them. Move them up here. And see about doing a naval invasion there to cut these guys off. Just before I bring Finland into the... War. We've got these guys starting to their breakout there. Got all these guys still like streaming up towards our air spotting them. So we go here, you can see, yeah. All these guys are rushing into the fight to get into this war to stop this exploitation. Well, they're leaving like Bantumi, Sevastopol. Now they got a garrison there, but Novoroski, I don't know, bloody Russian names. But so that leaving those open for us to move in and start our southern front because we still have that big old pile of units there. That's a lot. There, yeah, they're mostly mountain and light. A little more over here. Again, some of these guys are police and whatnot, but a few motorized types. We're going to cause chaos and confusion down there. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Please post comments. Love to hear from you. This is the exciting part of the game. Will we or won't we successfully pull off a Barbarossa? As you can see, I think this pocket's going to hold, even if they briefly undo. I think we're going to keep that closed. This pocket is forming. They're going to get a little bit of stuff out, but not much. Obviously, this pocket here looks like it might. Another swamp, of course, but get this closed here. But this is going to be nothing like this big of a swamp. But they're also moving a lot of units down from here and around that we're going to be running into eventually here. All right, that our air is spotting here. But by the time they do that, I'm hoping we'll be getting Finland in to whether they're going to push against these units or not. I don't know, but they'll at least hold them there in place. Be seeing you. Thanks again.